Philly fat. Shout out Money the Wolf, man. You know, I'm back, man. You know, right here on Philly Flame TV. Shout out my guy, Show Tizzy, you hear me? From day one, Show been my dog, man. Like, since we met all them years ago when I was, you know, under that 74th Inc. at, you hear me? Show been good dude, man. Good, genuine dude, bro. You don't really meet too many motherfuckers, especially with this rap shit that's like Show. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You don't really meet too many genuine dudes. Everybody that you meet in this shit want something. Niggas even trying to piggyback off what you got going on. You know, show always been sturdy from day one. Back when you was right, I ain't gonna lie, show. I used to watch you on all the DVDs, the Super Fly Boys. Yeah. Real, real, me and my little cousin, I used to be like, yo, this nigga hot as shit. You hear me? Real, real, that shit was my shit, bro. You know it's crazy. I go back. I remember filming you in this in this joint right here. Mm -hmm. It was you and a couple other people and shit. Know what I mean? Back way back in the day. Know what I mean? That shit was probably was like shit. What? What? 15, 18 years ago? That was a minute ago. Like way back in the day. I'm, right? I'm, I'm 33. That shit probably was like 15 years ago, bro. Yeah, that was a strict minute ago. Strict biz. We was under the strict biz. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. So let's go. So you originally from Uptown? Absolutely. Where? 74th of Andrews. 74th and Andrews. 74th and Andrews, so, man. Uh, you talk about I got some North Philly shit, man. man. <laughs> yeah, this, I know you played that WWE series says in North, but you're originally from Uptown. Absolutely. I'm, so I'm so give people that, that right there, like your upbringing you know, up there. Um, I'm, I'm originally from Uptown, 74th and Andrews, man. The first, the first, the, you know, the first block that had the mobile home in the city, man. 74th and Andrews. But we down on 16th of Liquid Cop right now, bro. Right. I was down here every um, weekend, you know what I'm saying? Whenever my mom would let me come the fuck down and show, you know, run around this motherfucker, you hear me? Then after like, I'll say about uh, 15, 15, came down north just like full time, you know what I'm saying? And that shit just been like different since, man. This, this north shit, bro, there's something about this north shit, man. I came down north, I got lost, and, and, and love everything about this motherfucking North Philly, I ain't gonna lie. It's uptown to death for me, but this North shit, man, ain't no place like it, you hear me? So, this, right. so if, if you speak, speaking like you, this where you say you jump, what jumped off the porch at North, like this was, I mean? Uh, absolutely not. You hear me? <laughs> Absolutely, Absolutely not. So before you came down here? Yeah, uh, by the time I came from my town, I might have had probably two shootings out of my belt, bro. Oh, Maybe two. He talking about, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Hey, man, don't do that to me, man. You know it's the month of Ramadan. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, son. It's the month of Ramadan. He ain't lying on there, though. All this shit documented though. So we able to talk yeah, about man. it. Aye! You say, bro, love you too, squad, you hear me? Um, yeah, by the time I came down, I probably had like two situations under my I ain't saying I dropped nobody, I ain't gonna lie, they probably was like the worst two shooters in America, but you know, I used to play ball, show, you hear me? Oh, you I had, hoop? Yeah, I had, I had hoop games, man. I used to play ball and I was the shit, you hear me? You used to play for your school or just on like playground type time? Everywhere, bro. Hey, where I got a chance to motherfucking uh, uh, get a game in and run that. That's what, that was my first love. But you know, shit changed, man. You know, started smoking weed. Just <laughs> fucking lost my virginity. Started fucking, you know what I'm saying? My brother, but that, like, everything, I ain't gonna lie. Everything went, everything went down hell. My brothers went to jail, though. Everything so went down So, like, your older brothers? Yeah, I got an older brother named Shane. That's my manager. What's up, Lay? What's up, Lay? Um, my older brother Shane, that's my manager. You met Shane. Oh yeah, shout out to Shane. And, yeah, 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 shout out to Shane. And my other brother, uh, Feek, that's K. You know, he was always booked for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? But me playing ball, me playing ball and football and all that shit, you know, Feek used to always, Feek was the one that made sure I played that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So all the little registrations and all that goofy shit and all that, he was Feet taking was the care one that of it. Took yeah. care of it. Sneakers and all that accessories, everything I needed. Feet took care of it. So now it was just like my brothers went to jail. Once he go to jail, it was just like everything started going downhill. You know what I'm saying? Everything went downhill. It was just like all right. Um, I forgot where I came up on this little couple of dollars. It probably was like eighty, ninety dollars. Eighty, ninety dollars. Uh, I buy an ounce. 
A weed. By an ounce of weed, my thing was, all right, listen, I'm gonna flip this little weed. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this little weed, try to, you know, buy some basketball seats. That's what I was telling myself, I ain't gonna lie. But, sold the weed in two hours. Oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? I bought me some Air Force Ones, flipped another ounce, like in the same day, bought me a pair of Jabooz. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? So now it's just like, I ain't, I ain't hooping today. You know what I'm saying? I ain't hooping today. Go ahead, grab something else. Tried to get my little sister and my other sister some shit, but it was just like, I ain't. Once that first trap got busted, it was like, I ain't gonna lie, I was gone. I was gone. I kept telling myself I was gonna come back to basketball and all that. Hey, I'm smoking. Little shorty I was fucking with back then, you know, smoking. That shit was just like bad after that, bro. Now, carrying the guns. My man, Leaf L. Dot, shout out to him. He had 40 days. He just gave that shit back. At the 15 years, he back home. So, shout out to Leaf. But, Leaf, go ahead. He about to go to school, Martin Luther King. You know, Leaf dropped his gad off to me. It's 380. But, Leaf wound up getting booked after that. Mm. So, now I'm running around with motherfucking 380 now. You know what I'm saying? I'm strapped. Busting a couple jugs, got my shot of pussy. It was just like, I'm gone. I ain't, ain't no more motherfucking basketball, bro. Mm -hmm. So that shit, I just started moving around, bro. So what like, age was this? What you were like, around? This all, this all was around like 15, 15, 16. I mean, you know, I like younger than that. I used to do a little miscellaneous shit, but I'm talking as far as like actually like jumping, jumping all the way. Like full fledged outside. Around yeah. 15, bro. Uh, uh, it was gone. So by the time my brothers came home, my brother already heard in jail. I'm out here running around in the streets. First thing he said when he see me, I'm I'm hyped shit to see my brother Shane. Shane like damn, let me get a check. I'm looking at him like, huh? Mind you, when he see me, I got basketball shorts on and all that. I'm scared to duck. I was trying to hide from my brothers. I was trapping. Damn, let me get a check. Then he just start grinding me up. Damn, this nut ass nigga wanna be motherfucking trapping and all. It was just like, damn. Feet turn around. Feet come on. I'm still trying to hide it from feet. You know, feet ain't really say too much. So me and feet, I used to wear a lot of his shit. So around, I when I when I when, when I had a little uh, growth spurt, me and feet started wearing like a lot of the same shit, especially jackets, the rock wear, stay probably and all that shit. So talking to feet, whatever. Feet like, uh, man, you know, I heard what you doing. He like, bro, listen, I ain't condoning that shit, but listen, don't sell nothing else other than weed. So one night, feet went to go switch jaggers and fucking found the Rockaway jag we had with a bunch of fucking coke in it. He looked, damn, what the fuck is this? Oh no, um, I was gonna ask you to sell it for me, I found it. He looking at me like, yeah, all right, man. He go sell it, he give it back to me. He like, listen, man, don't do it, don't do it. This shit, like, this shit sent me upstate. Like, feet tried to keep me off out there, you know what I'm saying? Shame. Shane was on a tight time, like, Shane was moving around. Shane was taking care of a lot of niggas doing what he was doing. But Feet was always the one that was, like, active and aware of what was going on, going on with me. You know what I'm saying? But once he sold that shit and I seen how fast he sold it, he ain't know. Oh, yeah, I'm selling coke. For real, man. Fuck that weed. You know what I'm saying? That coke, that's where it's at. It was just, like, he wound up getting booked again after that. He wound up getting booked again after that. Um... We the court of dumbass shooting. I come down north, so now it was like I come down north. My little cousin Money and them niggas down here. I'm still like somewhat hooping now, but I'm out here on Little Cop now. I ain't got to worry about my brothers and them down here. I got a bunch of ops and all them live down this joint. So now it was like, all right, I take a couple packs from niggas out this joint grinding. Then eventually that shit just like stop going to school. Stop on the school, I stopped playing uptown like that. A lot of niggas I was uptown with, you know, everybody was locked the fuck up. So it was just down north now. Down north, so now I'm down here. So I meet my first big mom at um trapping full time now. It was just like making a little couple of hours. I was just like, alright, that shit was off to the races after that. And this is where um the first war I went through started down here first war bro i'm talking so you about you still a teenager at the time yeah i was about uh 18 18 these little niggas was still in school i remember <laughs> i remember this one day this 
money right here. I remember they, they going to school at Grants and shit. So they knew it was a situation going on. So they, them little niggas used to call me while they in school all day, every day, make sure I was cool. I'm talking to this nigga one day. It was some freaky shit going on in the block. The nigga that ain't supposed to be on the block wind up trying to like tiptoe around, do some weird shit on the block. I'm on the phone with this nigga. Oh, this nigga right here. Uh, uh. Approach the nigga. Damn, what's up? What take time you want? You know you ain't supposed to be out here. Man, man, start laughing at me. <laughs> what you gonna do? Huh? So he on the phone. I'm a little cousin. Stank, he right there with me. Stank somewhat pipe it up. Oh, you gonna let him talk to you like that? Hey, show this shit fucking. What was it? Two in the afternoon, one in the afternoon? Something like Two, that. one in the afternoon. 16 hours a game, motherfucking me. cops coming down a, a light away. My pride hurt, nigga laughed at me. I'm trying to check the nigga. Man, these niggas, I wind up shooting the shot this nigga right here with 16 hours a game, bro. I'm talking about that pride was. That pride was like. Might have been the first nigga I tagged down here, bro. That shit was like bad after that, show, you hear me? That shit was bad after that. It was just like it wasn't no looking back now. Now I'm fully, I'm now I'm fully like committed and invested in this shit down here. I tell you by the by the age of um, I want to say 19, right? 19 by the age, of, bro, bro. By the not by the age of 19, had the whole block, bro. I'm talking about young nigga, bro. Young nigga with the whole block to the dip, bro. And it's about 20, 30 of us out here, bro. I'm talking nigga, about. Nigga, ass still ain't the same. <laughs> <laughs> His ass still ain't the same. About 19 years old, bro. Had the whole section to the dick. Like, when you thought of this block, bro, first. Oh, that shot. The shot, the shot, the shot. It was just like. We started going to war with niggas around the corner, bro. And that was just like weird. And the crazy thing about it is, my first day, mom, that was her folks, bro. It got bad to the point to where it was, um, like. Motherfucking. Um. What? Niggas start following my baby mom as she dropping my daughter off to school and all that shit, bro. That's how bad, that's how deep that shit got, bro. So I stopped taking my baby mom. Stopped taking my daughter out, like, nah, I couldn't go nowhere in there. It was just like, if I go anywhere in there, the motherfuckers might get shot. You know what I'm saying? That shit just got dark. That shit was dark skin Jermaine out here, you hear me? But, still, I stood on all 10 down this joint, you hear me? This shit definitely shake me. It should definitely shape me. I had that shit on me, but that shit definitely like shape me out to where it's though. Once that shit started, and once I just was standing in the rain, standing in the rain, bro. Now all these other doors and avenues start to open. It's it, it, it's crazy because that's how me and A got cool. Y'all right, was gonna get to that. Go ahead and speak. Man, that, that's how me and A got cool. Motherfucking um, I had I had got a uh. This was what, 2011 or 10. Whatever year it was, I had the same, I had the same year Taurus. You know what I'm saying? So I had I had these two little bitches from uptown with me that day. There's two little bitches with me from uptown that day. Make a long story short, I'm coming through Manfro. So you look at the bottom down, look a cop. So one way coming from 17th Street, like you gotta go, you gotta uh go down that way. So now I'm coming out Bancroft, I see A coming across. So he stopped this one, A in the big blue pickup truck. A murder, not scheme. So they stopped, they looking at me. I'm with the two bitches. You know what I'm saying? Y'all out so, in the car or y'all in the car? We all in the car. All I right. was in the cars with the two bitches coming through Bancroft. A was coming across Lippercott. So now we we come, we like we come. At the intersection, yeah. Right. Like, so now it's just like, he looking at me. So I'm looking like, fuck is up with A? Mind you, I'm already cool with Moolahs. I'm already cool with Moolahs. Right, so you know who Ab is at the time. Right. Yeah, yeah. This is my main problem. Right. Me and A just went in brown as we was. Right. I met Moolah through uh, Ladder Boy Lil. That's how I met basically Stizzy, Moolah, Biz, Goonie Gang. That's how I met them. We was kids. So, I already knew Moolah. So I could we come right there, boom, little intersection. Ad bricking me. He looking at me. No, yes. So I'm looking at him. So I start beeping him on. Go the fuck ahead. You know what I'm saying? Right. He looking. I see Naskin ready to jump the fuck out. I see Bird in the back seat ready to jump out. So my thing is, 
fuck what's up with these niggas? I'm what? strapped. Don't get it fucked up. I'm strapped. But fuck is up with these niggas? Injury break dessert. So add looking. Beep the horn again. Yo, go to here. What's up? He still don't move. So now I go around him. Boom. I pull off. So now he follow me for like. Six blocks. <laughs> I'm coming up 16th Street. He just behind me. I keep waiting. Well, no reason why. No reason no why. No reason why. Yeah. Coming up six blocks. What the fuck is up with this nigga? He on some weird shit. He finally turned off. Boom. I go up town with the little bitches, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, I had a trap down 18th for um Burks. I had a trap to bust down 18th for Burks. So this was. Cause if they don't have there, I think it was the next day. It was the next day. I had a trap down there. Stank with me. People will bust the trap. Boom. So sir, my folks. Ah, uh, I see Meek. I see P mine. I know Meek and P mine. I see them. They know Stank too. Oh, what's up with y'all? Pull over. Pull over. We jump out. So we rapping with them. We grind the P mine up about the little bitch Mariah. Hey, I ain't seen you. Motherfucker, we grind, we grind the P mine up about the little bitch Mariah and shit. He was fucking with the little bitch Mariah. Me and Saint was hitting her. He was like kind of like salty with us a little bit. But um, talking to him, I see a white Mercedes creeping up. Look over my shoulder. I see that it's Ed. I see that it's Ed. So I don't think nothing of it. It's my man brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ed. Drive up, huh? pull over. He jumps out the car, so he walk up. I'm not thinking of nothing still. He uh, damn, meat. Let me holler at you. He pulled meat to the side. Mind you, we still talking to people. We don't think it's nothing. So hey, come back. Damn, shy. Um, how long you had this young? How long you had what? He like, how long you had this blood? I know I had this blood for a little second. Why you say that? He like, no, oh, you know, somebody followed me in the same as that car. All right. What you telling me for? No, I'm just saying somebody followed me in the same as that car. Black ass nigga jumped out and banged on me. I'm not dark skin. This thing ain't the fuck dark skin. You saying that to say what? Well, no, I'm just saying it ain't too many. It ain't too many Tauruses running around and all that. So what are you trying to get at? Oh no, I'm just saying. What are you trying to get at? You, 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 are you trying to get at that I shot at you or what? He like, no, I'm just saying somebody pulled up in the same type of car. Hey, I don't one thing about me, hey. I don't secretly beef with nobody, bro. If it's on and we gonna crash, it's on and we gonna crash. This is simple and plain. If we shake hands and say it ain't it, this ain't that, it ain't that, bro. You ain't got to worry about me doing no backdoor shit or whatever. My thing is, I ain't dark skin and nine times out of ten, if I shot you or shot at you, you would have seen my face. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Um, and at this particular time, this right here, everybody right off my block was not shooting. I was down there like the lone wolf down this motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? So he like, oh, oh no, I'm just saying, oh, that shit crazy. So in this, in this particular moment, Meek sitting back looking. Meek looking like, oh shit. But Meek cousin, Reese wind up, fish market, Reese wind up walking up. Damn, what's up with everybody? Why y'all looking like, you know? Some goofy shit. Oh no, nah, you know. Me telling you like, oh no, nah, Ab, Ab said a car like this followed and banged on it. So fish market like, oh that wasn't shy. So Ab like, why you say that? Oh no, nah, if that was shy, <laughs> shy you'd have been tagged or you'd have got smoked. Shy, I don't do none of that. So basically it was like everything I just told, hey, I don't secretly be even nine times out of ten, you would have seen me, if, you know, if that was me. Reese came up and told him the same shit. But me turn around. Dip, like he turned around, stepped back. Now at this time, we were supposed to go to Onyx. Um, me and my brothers. I forget. Uh, it was Black De Niro party or Gilly party. It was one of these parties. We were supposed to go down Onyx. So I was serving main man. Whatever I served him, then I was gonna shoot straight to Onyx. You know what I'm saying? So, um, my brother texts me in the midst of everything that was going on. I tell my brother, no, uh, 18 for Burks. This right before A he started throwing the questions, telling him I'm down 18 for birds, right here talking to me and Pima. So my brother wound up pulling up. So in the midst of uh, Reese saying what he said, me turn around backing up. They see two niggas walking up. My brother and my man. 
Yeah. Hey, like, damn, who that? Oh, no, that's my brother. So, Meek looking, but he see how the conversation going with me and, hey, Meek turn around. Yo, I holler at y'all, yo, I'm out. Meek hurry up and jump in the car and leave P-Mine right there with us. So, now, when me and A just get to the bottom of it, hey, like, damn, man, I ain't, you know, I ain't want to accuse none of that shit. We get to the bottom of it, we shake hands, exchange numbers about street business, you know what I'm saying? But, late, years later on, a wind up telling me what Meek really said. When he pulled Meek to the side and was hollering at Meek, damn, you know, the car followed me, banging on me, this time third. Meek tells, hey, oh no, probably was Shy. You know, Shy be doing bullshit like that. Mind mm. you, hey, you don't know, I mean, Meek, you don't know no work I put in Meek. You don't, you don't know me to know if I shoot from a block away or walk up, you don't know that. that. So in my eyes, that was nutty. You see what I'm saying? Like you just sat there and told this boy that, and you not knowing a hundred percent of about the situation or what happened and none of that. You saying that little thing to him could have went left. Right. And say if A just on some shit like, damn, you, you, all right, he do do that. All right, that's the car. All right, I already smoking. And say, hey, would have came up and just blew my shit off. All because you ain't know nothing about the situation. And then you telling this boy, oh, he do do shit like that. That was nutty. That was nutty. So, therefore, I ain't gonna lie. Since then, it was just like, that shit had left a bad taste in my mouth for me, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That did. But since that day, me and A had got tight. Like, A. Understood who I was. Sat down. We got we got Brown. I understood. Seen the different side of A. A seen the different side of me. We got Brown with one another, and it was just like it's a beautiful nigga, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie, that's a beautiful nigga. That's how I met. That's how me and A met each other in our relationship blossom. Off of that little white little lie, me said it then. I'm getting banged on and thinking I did that shit. Hey, it tell you the same as that shit, dog. But that shit was like, that was nutty for uh main man to see that shit, though, bro. So y'all basically initial relationship started over him thinking that you had something to do with. You know I mean, somebody banging on you before. So when he first seen you in the car, he stopped like that, and was following you because of the car initially. Exactly. Uh, that's crazy. So y'all got cool at that. So ain't had nothing to do with no music. Mm -mm. So how how the OBH thing? How you become a part of OBH? Right. At the time, I was making music my dance so I mean, I had did a lot of music with uh, the, the the men from the block down here, Strict Biz, Young Bundle, Skeet. Like I was, I did a couple new, I did a couple tracks with them, and. I'm from 74th, and you know we had a little umbrella up there called 74 Inc., 74 Incorporated. So mm -hmm. I was already like making music a little bit. So when me and A got brown from our, you know, business dealings and all that, A had his umbrella, and A just was on a tight time, like, listen, bro, you know, you, you, you run around doing what you're doing, but, you know, your street cred, like, everything solidified about you, about you, you know what I'm saying? So now he just was like, and make a whole lot of sense for you to come under this umbrella. So at first, when I was still making music and all that, and making little moves, I wasn't OBH at first. Okay. It was just that, that's my dog. Moolah, that's my dog. Then turn around when I met Moss, I fell in love with Moss, that's my dog. Moss is a beautiful nigga, you know what I'm saying? But I already knew like half the people between OBH and Goonie Gang. So my thing was, it made a lot of sense. It did make a lot of sense. Like, we could help each other. We could piggyback off each other. It's still sharp and still. So now we're just like, I'm not gonna forget. I'm not gonna forget this 748. This, 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 this wolf shit. Little Cowboys, Wolves always eat. I'm not gonna forget that. You know what I'm saying? So now yeah. my thing was, I'm still gonna wear it. I'm still gonna wear it on my heart. I'm still gonna wear it on my sleeve as I'm Run around with this OBH shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So now when I finally just accepted the offer, all right, fuck it. You know, I'm just jump under this OBH wave. That's when I jumped on the own. Um, um, who harder than me? That was me and A first track together, Gangsters. Gangsters. That's what it's called. I think it's like number 13 or 14 on 
who harder than me. But that was me and A first track together. Then after that, who harder than me CD, that's when I was on. Um, what the hell was the OVH mixtape called? I think I was on two. I think I was on two tracks on Who Harder Than Me. Started up. It was start. I know it was gangsters for sure. I think it was started up. I think I was on one of the mud music stuff. But that's what basically uh, me doing that track with A. Hey, that's what solidified. That's what basically solidified my initiation. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, it made sense though. 74 to OBH. Can't get realer than that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's, 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 how that's, that's how that whole thing like panned out between us. And how